Good morning. Hope you slept well. I got an extra hour and I needed it. God damn. I'm feeling uh, pretty beat up. Just walking from the bed of the bathroom. I was like, damn. I feel like I got punched everywhere on the way here. Mm. That's today. We'll get moving. We got another 92 degree day, so we gotta get this shit going early. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, wakey wakey. Moving. Been a little slow today. A little sore. But feeling good. About to go stretch these calves. Do some walking. You. Beautiful morning. Try and make it outside today, especially before it gets too hot. Bacon. Hmm. Say hi to Mr. Turtle. Yeah. Let me go say hi to him. Death Eater. Waiting on something. He ain't waiting on us. Those uh, Death Eater birds are fucking nasty. You don't even want to walk by them. They fucking stink. You know, you know, you don't even want to breathe their fucking stink. So, just like a negative Nancy or a negative Ned, you just redirect. Find an efficient way around. One that smells better. Ah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Get outside, get that fresh air. You'll feel better. Yeah, later, Death Eater. Yeah, so even if you're walking straight into death and death is staring you in the eye, fucking so stand up, take a deep breath, turn around, go the opposite way. Walk away from it. It's easy. If we would have taken the chance and walked by it, who knows? That thing probably would have bit my leg, fucking. 
you know i don't want anya biting it it's just too much uh nastiness so when you sense and feel the nastiness exit efficiently quietly and smoothly and take another deep breath and just go back to living because you're in front of that shit it's all behind you and guess what it's all weak minded slow as fuck and it ain't gonna catch up so keep moving forward that's what I'm talking about Alright, so, uh, yeah, so one thing I've talked about is Wednesdays being my downest day, most depressed day. I've had uh, many, many days of depression for over the last 20 years, and uh, probably half of that time was depression. 10 years of it. And uh, so knowing, and what I do today, is I write myself a goal list, and that whole day keeps me busy. You know, there isn't time to sit and subtle and soak and you know feel pity for yourself you know there's all you're doing is uh, letting your mind try to make excuses on why your body is not moving and doing it and it convinces you so you know fuck your mind your mind ain't shit it's a weak ass bitch you know fuck that motherfucker just fucking get out of your mind get in your fucking walking shoes go outside like a walk that shit out concentrate on breathing think about breathing thinking about your health and how you're going to keep this machine running because if you're not going to move it it's going to fucking let go and shut down and allow corrosion to fucking eat it so don't let those bad bugs get you Sure, Mr. Baby Gator's over here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hmm. Got a bird feather in your mouth, dude. Death Eater's gotta watch the gators. Whew. Everybody's gotta watch everybody. You want to watch me? Well, you know what you're watching. You see me fucking doing it every fucking day. Not making excuses. Not fucking crying about it. Fucking doing it. What's your excuse? Oh, that hurts. This hurts. Guess what? I've had everything fucking hurt. Just get over it. Move. Quit the sugar. God damn. Where'd your pain go away? Quit eating fucking sugar. Ooh. No excuses. Get out of bed. Make your fucking bed. Brush your fucking teeth. Take a big shit. Wipe your fucking ass. Wash your fucking hands. Put your fucking shoes on and go the fuck outside. That's how you start the day. And we're at 8,000 steps. I'm getting some relief. Yeah, so uh, my body's feeling good. You know, I'm sore everywhere, everything sores, but you know, in movement, I'm walking slow and I'm really concentrating on every step like I always do. Cause I have to look down when I walk. Cause if I trip over something, it's not like when you trip over something, like it pulls my knee, twists, like everything. So this is also why I find all this crazy cool shit on the ground because I'm always looking down. When I walk. When I'm not walking, I'm always looking up. Oh. Okay, we're going to do a light stretch.
there it went. Oh, man. That one was holding on to me. Man, so much relief. That was my left knee. Instant relief. Yeah. Okay, ain't sensitive no more. Death eaters right there. <clears throat> All right, just a couple of push ups. the right knee man okay oh yeah okay I got nothing restricting me now man takes 8,000 fucking steps to get my body warmed up to allow it to loosen up enough to fucking align itself yeah crazy if you're feeling down look up if you're walking look down watch where you're going See all these. <laughs> Welcome to Crunchville. Yeah. Whew. Snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, we're all lubed up. Oh. I can tell you this, I wish this upon nobody ever, ever in your entire life. I hope you never, ever get struck by a fucking vehicle and get both your fucking knees exploded at the same time. It's a, uh, it's a prison sentence, let me tell you but a free prison sentence. Yeah, so, uh, my, my entire, uh, rest of my life is full rehab. I have to try to make my knees feel as good as possible in order to continue going and not deteriorate and fucking wind up being, uh, shoeless, you know? 
having to reside on wheels to get me around. And uh, no, I'm gonna try as hard as I can to just rehabilitate these things, you know? The uh, orthopedics <laughs> failed at their job of trying to do it. You know, they just couldn't do it. So I'm doing a better job today than they were treating me. We're talking uh, 12 knee injections a year. So painful, you don't even want to fucking talk about that. Taking you off your feet for a month to recover from those shots. Yep. Starting all over, rehabilitate. Starting all over, rehabilitate. I have started over so many fucking times. But today it's easier, you know? And it's faster. And I need to keep it this speed, or if not faster than what we're doing now, as I get older. You know, that's where my thinking's at. The future of my movement. And I hate to remind you again, but Jesus Christ, get the fuck outside. Look at this shit. I mean, come on. A huge fucking turtle over there. There's a gator. Like they're outside. They're not. They're not soaking underneath the fucking water, crying. They're outside getting some fucking energy. Go get yours. It's fucking waiting on you. Quit making excuses. Cause I don't want to fucking hear them. I'm free. And then in some ways I'm not. I'm bound, but I'm free, and I'm happy, and I, I'm great with that. Hey, uh, you know, while you're out there trying to remember all this shit I'm telling you to do so you can fucking keep living strong, spread some fucking kindness, make a difference, don't go on Facebook you know, go outside. Go tell the motherfucker to their face. You know? Put your phone down. And quit the sugar. And start fucking living. Let's go with safety orange. Only needs a backup harness. Yeah, definitely getting this. But we're gonna look around. Only may want to pick something. We're looking for a certain toy that we saw. She really liked. I ain't seeing it here on you. It's a ball within a ball. Oh, you want one of them pig ears? Yeah, you want one of them? She loves the pig ears. I'll get you one of those for a treat. Want one of those? Get one. Which one do you want? It says bully slices. Go ahead and get one. Let's see. How about that one? Ooh, that looks like a good one too. Oh yeah, look at that one. Hmm. Let's see, what is it? Three for four? Okay, we'll get we'll get you three of these. Yeah? Yeah, you had one of these before. You liked it. Oh, okay. All, all custom puppy bakery? Yep, we make all these and all the packaged cookies. Is everything organic here? What's that? Is everything organic? Yes. Yep. Okay, good. No salt, sugar, or No pesticides. No all right. Crossing. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, it's like uh, Toys R Us in here. Okay. I'm going to get her that harness and these raw hides. Look at these. They got little Reese cups. 
Oh, what? Bacon twist? Oh, man. You want to try one of those? Can I try one of the bacon Bubba's cues? Yeah, let's see. What, see what she thinks about that. She's such a good girl, you know. Yeah. Thanks, Piglet's Pantry. Got us a little treat bag. Yeah. Let me check out what you got, trick or treat. Okay, you ready to do this shit? Oh yeah, tell them. Links in the description. Strong minds. Yeah, I hate carrying shit. You got it all in here. Okay. Let's go that way. Ready? Cross. All right, making our way back to the truck. Then home to fuel. What are we cooking today? Hey, is that your buddy? Hey, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, get some nose bumps. Oh, all right, see you later, buddy. We're over four miles. It's gonna update, so. Yeah, I mean, today felt pretty good. I'm not gonna like push it to go five miles if I'm not at five miles, cause we'll get it later. We're just going straight to the truck and going home to fuel. But yeah, it feels good. Pretty happy with today's walk. It went by really fast too. Like we just lost track of time. <laughs> and it was easy kind of kind of like uh when i was walking before going in the hospital i do five miles like first thing in the morning get it out of the way it was easy so feels like i'm getting back up to that not quite there yet but it's like it'll be there the same time my strength fully gets back to where it was and that's gonna be realistically like another two weeks of me just doing this solid and then I can get at a base. Uh, but, you know, I got to keep going. You know, I got to see what my body is achievable uh, to do. You know, I got to get these, these knees stronger. So, you know, that was, that was the whole point of me... Uh, Getting educated and uh, becoming a nutritionist and learning about blood was because my my whole life is uh, regulated around these knees. The governors. Oh, governor! No, it's two, governor. Yeah. Everything I'm doing is working, and uh, I'm patiently trusting the process and allowing, and it's happening. You know, I'm not rushing it. I'm not forcing it. If I was, I'd just be injuring myself every day. So I'm trying to play it like a game of chess, super smart, and, uh, and be a few steps ahead of everything in front of me. The best that I can. Tid new title, A Life Sentence and Freedom. Raymond noodles in my trap. Ain't no love in the streets, so I'm filling in the gap. If you ever cross me, then you know that it's a rap. Ain't no love, ain't no hugs, ain't no motherfucking dap. Made a name in this rap game, put me on the map. Don't be clipping shell, catch a nigga, put me on the scrap. Old lame ass nigga talking reckless on the app. The rain bullets hit them, it just turned to all cap. Had to quit fucking the wretches, cause the bitches couldn't adapt. I'm a six figure. 
Oh man, we made it. Oh. Get a refill. Dear diary, end of the walk. Felt good. Walk was great. No complaints. Uh, super positive. And I was thinking on my walk, you know, it, it entered my mind yesterday, that lady that snapped at me. And I was just like, man, I hope I don't run into that lady today. You know, I was telling myself that. I was like, because, you know, I just... I don't like being around that kind of energy, you know? It, it had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with her. And uh, I just can't be around those kind of people, you know? And uh, what my conclusion was, what is, what my conclusion is, was that on my drive to go walk yesterday, that's when I left the house, I was like, okay, we're going to go to the lake and do laps, and then we'll walk to the dog park, and then walk back to the truck, get some extra steps, and Anya was so excited, she knows where we're at, you know, she knows the dog park route, and I'm just like, fuck, I feel, I feel like there's negativity there, because, you know, it's a yappy hour, five o'clock, everybody's off work, and they had a stressful day, and they just want to snap at people, so I was just like, oh god, she's so happy, and, you know, it's been so hot, and you know, she's earned it, like, let me just let her go get it out and have fun, just go run with the kids and the dogs, and, uh, fucking got there, and it, it was fine until that lady came up, and she was like, oh, yeah, I can have my dog's toy back, you know, like, starting that shit, and I'm just like, so, I knew it, my intuition told me before we even got there, I, 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 felt that there was going to be a negative vibe before I got there and right when I turned on the road I was like ah shit I was like I, I know I need to just go to the lake but you know look how happy Anya is it's it's worth dealing with the negative vibe it ain't going to be that bad you know I will just walk away so I'd already had that thought go through my mind before we even got there and you know once the incident happened and everything my only focus was uh you know, do, don't react to this lady's, you know, her, uh, her volatile fucking attitude. Like, just don't react. Just leave. You know, if I can leave. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't have no ego. I don't have to prove anything that I'm king of the fucking dog bark, you know? It's like, no, uh, we're out of here. Sit your negative ass there, you know? So, the conclusion is, I knew it before it happened yesterday. And I didn't trust my gut. So, shame on me. Lesson learned. And I, I just need to keep that in my forward thinking at all times. And I try to, but it's hard. And uh, this is just a lesson learned that, okay, forward thinking. Um, when that gut rings and you feel it, you change direction immediately. And you will... You'll navigate around that negative shit. So that's how I've done it and am doing it. I just didn't do that yesterday because Anya was so happy, you know? You see the smile on your dog's face and the excitement. You feel her heart just pulsating that, oh, my God, I'm going to be able to just run as fast as I can. Uh, no rules. Play with Frisbees, tennis balls. Go swimming. Like, it's the ultimate fucking skate park for her. And... Uh, just like some people come to the skate park, they don't treat it like I treat it, and they don't treat the dog park like it should be treated, and it's a sanctuary, and people come there and just bring their shit, <laughs> you know, they shit more on the fucking sanctuary than the fucking animals do, so you just gotta navigate and maintain that 50-50 balance, because that it will always be a 50-50 balance if you can keep your balance. And, and that's that's the name of the game, you know. As far as having a happy life, you want to keep that balance and just uh, not let these small things bother you that can just cause little bits of stress and then create and grow into more stress and then just start eating your fucking body alive, you know. You, you, you'll you create this sickness that will fucking do more damage to you than fucking sugar. So, 
Yeah. All right, speaking of sugar, get off the shit. We're going home to fucking fuel. Let's go cook. Oh, I gave her a little piece of that fucking bacon strip she picked out. She likes it. I tried it. It's pretty good. A little dry, but tasty. Donate tip. It's pretty good. You sure? Yeah. I'm going to cut all these up so she's got... I know, but... uh at least lick it. <laughs> this one I can cut again. All right, you want one of these raw hides? Raw hide. I'm gonna cut the corners off. About twenty nine. You know, look too long, don't they? No, they look good on you. Huh? They look good on you. They'll probably shrink too. 2932. Hey, hey, Goin. Try that. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, they look like they fit good. You need some room. Roll them up one cuff. Look, look at how I do mine. They look like Michael Jackson. All right. I'm putting your snacks away. She knows where her snacks go. Yeah, I got them put away. Maybe on Friday when I get a pipe, you'll get a bone. Yeah. We'll trade the rewards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Break fast. Uh, doing some leftover cauliflower curry chicken and broccoli added. Okay, try that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So, so good. Easy to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yummy, yummy. You're welcome. All right, what am I going to do with this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yummy, yummy. Coconut, cauliflower, curry, chicken, salad with pita wrap. Mm. I'm going to make uh, ground turkey for dinner. Yum, yum. Mm, there we go. Mmm, bonnet tip. Mmm. Mmm, so good. See my breakfast? That leftover uh, cauliflower curry and chicken. So before I start cooking something new, I want to get rid of all the old shit. It was good. Had it in a salad with green olives and you know, the pita. Mm. Full now. Ugh. Definitely um, I'm feeling the uh, soreness creeping in everywhere. So I'm going to relax that a little bit with this Bubba Kush and get ahead of that fucking, uh, that creeping slowness weight that's coming. Oh man. Yeah, just get ahead of the soreness. My shoulders are sore now, fuck. If I think about any body part, it's sore right now. But if I don't think about it, then it's like, it's how I am normally. 
because my knees always hurt and I just try not to think about it. So same with the soreness. But shit, I'd say my knees felt the best on this morning's walk than in at least the last six weeks. So that's good. And the whole purpose for this training is to uh, rehabilitate my knees and get them as strong as possible and supportive as possible so I can just stay on my board and uh, get that feeling that serves me. <sighs> you want to talk about addiction? I've battled all kinds of different addictions and uh, a skateboarding addiction is the one that I don't want to beat, <laughs> you know? I don't want it to beat me, but I like an even balance with it. It's the, uh, the hyper drive to the body, so. This old Millennium Falcon's full of parts and pieces, but it's still got fucking light speed. Last jump, maybe forever. <laughs> Cooking up some turkey kibble. Mmm. Lean ground turkey jalapenos and onions. Season. Ooh. Scrambled turkey kibble. Mmm. Scrambled turkey kibble. Leftovers for meals to create. Mm, add some fat. Green fat. Yummy. Scramble turkey kibble. Ooh, yummy, fucking yummy. Mm -hmm. Scramble turkey kibble. Mmm. With avocado. Mmm. And kimchi. Wakey wakey again. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Hump day. Get over that fucking depressed day. Just got done eating dinner. Had some uh, scrambled turkey kibble. Look at that white meat. Look at that dark meat. Feel the material in that wing. Look at the size of that wishbone. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm having some sugar cookies for dessert. Cheers to the healers. I 
damn, that's tasty as fuck. Whew, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, all in all, I'm not feeling any, really, any more sore than I was earlier. Took about a, uh, it's probably took about a 45 minute nap today, maybe an hour. Yeah, that felt good. Right during the hottest point of the day, too. Like, just get out of the sun, fucking go lay down. But what's been on my mind since this morning is that at the end of the end of the uh, neighborhood, they're building these three apartment complexes, and they're to the point where they're almost starting to frame the roof. And it's like if I want to go in there and skate the the smooth, glossy flat ground, uh, today is probably the last day to do it. Or else they're going to have roofs tomorrow. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my mushroom coffee, my relief stick, see how I feel after that. And then uh, I might pedal down there, check it out, take my Andy Anderson deck, 8.45, and uh, maybe just do some little freestyle down there. You know, keep it slow and low. Feels good out now though, that cool breeze cool 80 degree breeze mm, some good shit all right happy healing okay you ready pretty girl Get that sunset sash. Oh yeah. <laughs> we don't know if we're necessarily skating. My legs and hips and ass, everything's fucking sore. So if anything, it's uh, just a nice arm weight or self-defense or cane if need be. But yeah, we just gonna walk, see how we feel first. Hope you made it out to see the sun at least once today. Yeah, let's go fucking check it out. Love smooth ground. It's great on my knees. Ooh, a lot of powder. All right, it's pretty clean in here. The one on the right is the cleanest. The other two are just fucking filthy. There's shit everywhere. This is about the best I'm gonna get. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to. See, there's rocks everywhere. I'm trying to see if I can find me a broom, maybe. That'd be nice. But yeah, it's super nice ground, especially all in here. All right, let me see if I can find a broom. All right, well I looked everywhere and there's no broom. There's just too much shit. Like I'm gonna hit rocks everywhere and potentially fall. So just not gonna take that chance. Not meant for us today, but we can go behind the liquor store and uh, go back there and maybe push around. It's about the closest, smoothest ground around here. you right off your board somebody brought the beach to the sidewalk okay oh the liquor store curb
has been grinding that curb. Man, it's dry as shit. There ain't no wax on it. Yeah, been ne neglecting these. Pretty fucking dry. I need to come in here with some clear coat and fucking paint this whole thing. And uh, we'll have a roll through spot. Come in here and just fuck grind this shit. It's too dry now though. This shit's in. Oh yeah. I mean, I can try to force one for you. Maybe right where the paint is, I'll get I'll get a, a good grind, but it's gonna stick. Back in the hollow. Good job, let's go get some water. Let's get some water. We're back, Dad. <laughs> 